Hair Flux Diamond. <clears throat> and I want to do a short video. Hopefully it's short. First. Today I got the purest pimp juice there is. Water fresh out the faucet. And I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And we supposedly have the best tasting water that there is. I, don't know. I can't um, confirm that, but I won't deny I like it. Okay, I want to start uh, by doing a song lyric interpretation so y'all can kind of understand get a visual um the song is by LaShawn Pace it is a Christian song song by African American woman it's called there's a leak in this old building first of all this lady has a very soulful voice very hypnotized and intoxicating voice. I wonder if I could play a clip of like how she just begins this song. It makes you want to just stand on your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right? Okay, she gets very good with the runs, honey. <clears throat> so the first uh, line is, there's a leak in this old building. To me, that, that just represents... <laughs> Sorry, I want to be outside, but uh, don't stay in a secluded um, area in the woods by lake. I stay in the inner city. So, <clears throat> there's a leak in this old building and my soul has got to move. <clears throat> Basically, to me, that means that there's a leak in her mindset and her soul has to move in order to survive in order to thrive her soul um, has to transport mindsets she says my soul has got to move oh my soul has got to move her soul is getting weakened watered down weary you know bricks are falling this building is old it's not of use of value anymore if she wants to save her soul she gots to jump ship Ooh. she said I've got another building a building not made by man's hands to me that says up until this point, everybody had a hand in making of the up of the makings of me. Everybody had a hand in who I was, and I would take a a bit of her, him, or whatever these people would tell me who I am. I would try to emulate that, but now my new mindset is all my own she says this old building keeps on leaning it says yo in my soul so when i hear the song it sounds like this old building keeps on leaning y'all in my soul 
And then the, the choir be like, it's good to me. Okay. And she says, my soul. And then the choir, has got to me. She like, my soul, y'all. Has got to me. And she says, this old building keeps on leaning. And my soul has got to move. I've got another building, a building not made by man's hands. She's letting y'all know that she has been rebirthed. She has uh, built her own self up. <clears throat> when you create your own self image, or you create your own person, it's very hard for somebody to um, demolish that or break that down. Like your building is formidable because nobody laid that brick. But you. It says, before this time, another year, I may be dead and gone. That's how urgent it is. That's how urgent it is. Now, she might not physically die, as this is, you would take it, but she would, she would be soulless. She would be walking around on um, this plane soulless because she did not heed the warning and when the building was falling down and leaking, she did not leave. Um, another thing is the video of... Um, I'm going to try to link it below. I'm going to try, y'all. I really suck at editing. But I watched a video of a man that was uh, referring that people uh, be like a... What is it? A firefighter's water hose. Firefighter's water hose. All the force comes out of one end. It's very powerful. But it's powerful because it has no leaks in it. It's sealed from the inside. And if a leak was on the uh, center, it weakens the force that's coming out from the front. So you have to make sure you have no leaks and no seals. It's called hermetically sealed. I think I'm going to put that down at the bottom. Um... And he was um, talking about, if you search through my Instagram, if I post this on Instagram, or if you see this on YouTube, you go to my Instagram, it's a white man that's bald-headed, and I did a clip of his video. Um, he was talking about uh, people being a tabernacle. Where we our gold on the inside we need to heed more to taking care of the gold that's on the inside because that is what shines outwardly more than um trying to keep up a gold appearance on the outside and being dead on the inside okay Let me see what else the song says. It says, When I can read my title clear to the mansions in the sky, I'll bid farewell to all my friends. God said he will wipe, 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 wipe down, wipe. <laughs> my kids watch too much TikTok, y'all. Oh. Uh, will wipe my weeping eyes okay this right here when i can read my title clear when she has broken the wheel of the karmic cycle they mean the lessons that she has had to learn to get to the mansion in the sky which you can call the sky your mind right she has unlocked a level in her mind and now she's in the mansions in the sky the mind she's in heaven not physically physical not literally uh all of this is metaphorically psychologically 
because if you really get deep, you really not here. All of this is an illusion, you know. So God said He would wipe my weeping eyes, right? It's basically like your higher self. I could say Flux Diamond said she will wipe away my weeping eyes. Now you can take away the pronouns. Flux Diamond said they will wipe away my weeping eyes. Or I could say Flux Diamond promised to wipe away my weeping eyes. If you want to take the uh, personalization of he and shit, and why do I want to say shit? That was she, it, or uh, he. Because when you say she and he, you get images of um, female and a male in your head, and that would kind of probably mess you up from seeing God as like an, an image when God is spirit that you can uh, invoke or contain within your vessel. So she goes on this old building keeps on sinking. I keep I listen to this song and I swear it's like she be saying y'all but maybe that's just me this old building keeps on sinking y'all in my soul now this is sinking abandoned ship pimps this is when your hole is finna abandon ship Woo. okay this is a call our holes jump ship And then, okay, she got another building not made by man's hand. Man didn't put a hand in it. He can't tear it down. Let what, let what God put together, what God put together, let no man come between. Man is just human who doesn't know their God. Okay, it says, you know what? I'm moving. I'm moving home. She remember who she is. She know where home's at. She's shifting her mindset to be in that place. Now, all of a sudden, she is fucking Dorothy that was on the yellow brick road and just never remember that home was back there. Not all up in here. You went on that whole journey just to realize I just got a song. If you just realize what I just realized. Then you be perfect for each other. That's Kobe Calais called Realize. It's a good song. Okay. So she moving home. Cause at the end of a uh, Wizard of Oz, Dorothy says, uh, "If she can't find what she's looking for in her own backyard, and it wasn't there, that's metaphorical, man. You can travel. It's saying if you looking for something outside of yourself, you're never gonna fucking find it because it's in you." And if it's not in you, it's not of you. It's not for you. It says, when you see me praising the Lord, I'm moving home. I'm just moving closer to my heavenly home. And then I think the uh, choir is like, I'm moving home. Um, it just keeps on to say I'm moving home. I got another building, a building I made by... God's hands and she was doing all them runs and stuff so basically since when you see me praising the Lord 
That's like if you see me praising my higher self, Flux Diamond, who helped me get out of the darkness. Because now, you know, I'm in heaven. <clears throat> A lot of people say, when you give speeches, and they be like, oh, she didn't thank God. When, I, when you say thank you, you know, I want to thank myself, you know, for keep pushing. I want to thank my mom for seeing, uh, seeing things in me I didn't see in myself. I want to thank my aunt for being always supportive of me and being a friend when I needed one. Isn't that God? That's you. Real recognize real. So God, God is going to see God in others. So... Um, why are people so adamant on you praising something outside of yourself? I don't understand. Because now I have attained God, so I can I can say thank you to myself. All right, that's just how I'm seeing it. So that song, that's the end of that song. So I was listening to it on YouTube and uh, another song by LaShawn Pace had came up. Anybody else know her other famous song? It's called, uh, let me see. I don't know. Bear with me, y'all. I'm just 32, but... I'm old. Like trying to do all this stuff, you realize um, I'm not as tech savvy as I thought I was. Okay, the next song is I Know I've Been Changed. Okay, I'm gonna play just a small clip of this so y'all can hear. Like, the soul in this woman's voice. I wonder did she really believe what she was saying or did she know that she was giving a cryptic message? Did she really believe that Jesus was her savior or did she know that she was being used to give a cryptic message to lead people back to their soul? I wonder. Don't be a two to a pimp. Because if she didn't know that she was being used to harvest other people's energy to give to a graven image named Jesus so that the mass can be controlled because they are disempowered and they don't have uh, any empowerment. Man, that's a sad case because she had a beautiful voice. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna play a clip right here. YouTube I always gotta give you a damn commercial. Uh, first of all, fuck your damn insurance. I'm not with insurance. Like you pay all that money, all your. Damn, I f Damn, he died. I, w I thought I was prepared, but I ain't charged shit last night. So we gonna um, segue into something else I want to do. I want to do a timeless oracle reading for today because I read, um, I listened to my old past timeless oracle reading and uh, it was so on point. So... Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put it down at the bottom. Flux Diamond Studios. And um, look through my Instagram TV messages. And you will see um, a timeless oracle reading. I had a wig on. Had my makeup done. But, I mean, this is me right here. This is me in the flesh. Um... And that time this oracle reading is 
on point and it was like 18 weeks ago that's why it's considered timeless because you never know when your message gonna resonate with somebody so today I'm talking about that timeless oracle reading I did 18 weeks ago you go listen to it and it might resonate with you on today maybe 18 weeks ago it didn't also today is 7-7 seven, seven. it's a portal so do something fancy like let something go call something into your life you can basically you know get your pimp cup fill it up with nice water put you some ice in it and be like this is the tesla that i want and then you just be like cheers bitch and drink good right oh, can't wait to support elon musk i like elon musk can't wait to be driving in me a Tesla. It's on the way. Okay, this oracle reading is from the secret. What is that? The secret language of animals. I got ants everywhere. The secret language of animals. I got this in my hometown, Memphis. I'm gonna plug everything that I can, right? Um, the Wizards Smoke Shop. It was a little higher than going to the spiritual store, but my local spiritual store is a little high too. I'm gonna plug them. It's Ebo's. So if you're in Memphis and you're on a little spiritual journey, go to Ebo's. It's on Madison. Um,. I got a lot of oracle cards. I had a question, like, if you lost the oracle card because I have a bad little baby. Um, rambunctious, should I say. Can you still use those cards, even though I'm not playing with a full deck? That's why I haven't been using them. But anyway, the card that I pulled, if you're new to oracle cards, you just, um, you shuffle them. Damn, my phone said it had reached limit. Man, this message about to be fired in because I'm finna push through. I sure am. Okay. That's a message within itself. Like, when one roadblock gonna come up, are you gonna turn around or are you gonna push through? So, the card is uh, <clears throat> Timber Wolf. Now, I've had this deck for a minute. I've never pulled this card. The number 39 is at the top. Put it together. It's uh, five. If this has uh, any significance to you with the numbers. Um, instinct, guidance, belonging, and order. I did read the book. And um, I did get... I got this cute little sketchbook I'm trying to um, write down so I can have like a um, guideline because I tend to do a lot of things intuitively like uh, you would call it impulsively it's like on the go in the moment whatever comes to my mind it comes straight out my mouth or comes to my heart comes straight up out my mouth I tend to do that and sometimes that's why I kind of like pause in the video stare off in the distance because I'm receiving messages that's just how I do it I'm trying to get a little more uh, order but um, yeah so I got this cute little book that I written in instead of sketching from five below I really like five below that's a lot of little things you can get from five dollars and under. There are still of of value that you can get um, some good use for your money out of. Okay, I did the Lashawn page lyric interpretation. There's leaking this old building. I'm on to the timeless oracle reading. I did get some songs. Uh, Listen to your heart. Uh, just type in the. Uh, just type in that because I don't know the name of the person who sings that song. It's Listen to Your Heart 
when it's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going and I don't know why, but listen to your heart before you tell him goodbye. And then I got Love Knocks You Down. That's by Carrie Hilson. Sometimes love comes around and it knocks you down. Just get back up when it knocks you down. Okay, it says most chains are psychological. Most chains are in your mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. This in vogue, that just came to me. Uh, taking back narratives are empowering. So, a lot of people would be like, just, uh, fuck them Christian songs. Just do away with them. But, it's a form of empowerment. So, uh, never judge anybody else's process. And I'm just sharing this because maybe my process will help somebody else's process. You might not do it this way, but you will, um, be inspired and inspiration is the name of the game restructuring your reality right so you were born and they said hey you kiva and this is what humans do and this is who you are and you go to school even school is changing y'all huh. you work a job you get a 401k make sure you pay your life insurance so you can be buried in the ground in a nice way um, blah, blah, blah. You know, now you're restructuring your reality. Restructuring your reality is finding God for yourself, creating your life for yourself. Because God wants to be experienced in a multitude of ways. And it's 7 billion people on this earth. And it's just a disservice to God and yourself, who, who is God, to live a life the same as other people around you. That's death. Okay. Okay, so the timber wolf says instinct, guidance, belonging, and order. Basically, if I look at the picture, like the surroundings by him, his surroundings, it's cold, right? And um but the wolf has fur. So he's insulated. He is not weak to his environment. Also, it's the snowflake in the background, which stands for me. It's like uniqueness, what I just said. Um, you're one out of a billion. Seven billion people. You're one out of seven billion people, and there's never another person like you. Don't be fooled. Um, even though you are a part of a pack, this pack is made of individuals. Um, if you ever watched a troll movie, if you haven't, I suggest you watch Trolls World Tour. Um, basically they had broke up all trolls because they wanted to, they felt like they couldn't be individually themselves if they was a part of a pack but being individually yourself is what helps make beautiful music and the world is nothing but beautiful music okay guidance belonging and order guidance basically is when I can eat from you and you can eat from me I have something of value to give to you you have something of value to give to me you're not always going to be the person giving the value be open to receiving value belonging um, wolves are individuals they can be on their own but they're also part of a pack so never forget where you come from never forget who you are um, pave your own way but also pay homage to those who came before you and order in the book it was saying <clears throat> if you get your life in okay, for the last time <laughs> cut me off again y'all I'm gonna get it together okay but I was uh, picked off dropped off it order 
it says if you um, have your ex external environment in order, it will help you know keep your internal clear. So you can receive messages from your higher self because you won't be bogged down by your external environment. Keep your channels clear. Stay tuned.